Liam Jones, number 14. He's 29 years old. He's 199 centimetres, 97 kilos. And um, one thing that he did well in 2020 was, uh, well, first of all, he got back to his best form. Um, but he averaged 8.8 spoils a game, which ranked elite in the competition, as well as his 2.8 intercept marks a game, which ranks elite in the competition. Um, he plays with heart. He always has. He he understands what it's like to be on the verge of losing everything. So I feel like he plays with a gratitude and he doesn't play with a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He doesn't play with a, a sense of entitlement. What are we looking at? What are you looking at for him in 21? Just more of the same or a, an evolution to his game, a new role? Well, I mean, throughout human history, double acts have been a big thing. Laurel, Hardy, Papa Smurf, Smurfette, you, me, some iconic... Bananas in pyjamas. Bananas in pyjamas, yeah, B1 and B2. <laughs> There's been some iconic two people partnerships, but to me, Jones and we are in. They're just salivating out. They just work so well. You've got... The reliability of we are in. Jones adds that, you know, he's willing to play loose and do the risk, high risk, high reward, knowing Wheaters is there as a rock. Potentially, this is the best key pairing in the back line in the AFL. You've got speed, you've got Naus. I think Jones more of the same. Do what you do. We've started to see we are in as he's matured and evolved. He can cover jones when he suddenly plays loose we've also started to see Lockie plowman play that third tall role and he's willing to drop back and take the other big guy so jones can go out and do his thing because jones he's at his best when he's attacking the footy attacking the footy there's a few times last year where i think t got it wrong and he put him on the wrong man looking, at the, port port game, game. Oh my looking God. at the port adelaide game where that was a matchup made in disaster because if you play loose on charlie dixon and he gets involved it's game over but that being said, John, I've got no issues with. He's another player that, if I'm Mitch McGovern, I'm seeing what's possible. Five years ago, everyone hated Liam Jones. Get rid of him. He's a hack. Why did we get him from the doggies? Yeah. Hack. Waste of a pick. Look at Le Levi. This is another guy that we take to you very quickly. Look at me now. I'm calling him the best key defending pairing in the competition. Five years ago, I've probably got messages where I'm like, this guy's pants. Yeah. So, she turns around, but... Jones, more of the same, my friend. More of the same. Yeah, do what you do. He's one of the few in the team that I, I, I say the exact same thing. Like Ed Kerner is another one. It's literally just keep doing what you, you what you've always done. Play with the same spirit you've always played with. I think he's reduced the old moments. I think he still has them. But one thing about Jonesy, and I think Jack Noons also has this trait. When they do make a real blunder and they muff it, they have that um, they have that character and that mentality to make sure that the next contest. They fix it up, and um, you know you, you take that as a as a as a fan, or I take that as a fan. But I do want to obviously limit the old moments that he has from here on in. When I read the team, and I think you've hit it on your head, I read the team backwards when the AFL puts the team release and the backline this year. I'm just thinking my feet are going to be up, mm -hmm. aren't they? Because that backline is lit, yeah. man. But exactly spot on. Liam Jones is like Plowman. He makes them mistakes. And I think why he probably doesn't get picked on as much as Plowman is he's learned to not get inside his head and get upset about it. He just makes the next one better. And I think he's got... They seem to work so well, Jones and Wheater, don't they? they? Do. Like, they look like... You know, like, it's almost like they're an adopted brotherhood. You can mm -hmm. see it, don't you know? Like, at school, there was always them brothers that you had question marks what the dad was getting up to. Like, they're it. They just work so well. Like, it's a perfect combination. But, Jones, I've got no issues with him. Just do what you do, Jones. Mm -hmm. That would be my advice from this year. Do what you do. Play like football. It. Let's see what everyone else has to say. Bryce says, he, he's Mr. Golden Fist. He shows the effort we want and need. He doesn't get enough credit from the fans at all. Alexander says that Jones is a staple in our defense. He spoils well and steps up in big moments, except when he went for goal against Fremantle in the dying minutes of the season last. <laughs> yeah. If you remember that, I do remember that. I was excited about that as well because he used to be a forward, <laughs> so did. I was like, he's still got it in him. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Shad says, Jones, zero to hero in one season, more crucial to finals than some may think. But Jad says, I know Shad Daddy will hate this, but I don't see us winning a flag with Jones in the team as a starter. Just won't happen. His best isn't worth his worst. Uh, Shad says he's banning him. <laughs> 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 love it. Love it. It's all going off in the comments. Uh, Chris says, I love what Jones brings to the table, but he has so many brain phase where he makes basic errors that cost us. 
Andrew says, Liam Jones, 110% effort every game. Literally the opposite to Mitch. He's given Mitch a bit of a slap there. Uh, and so, yeah, Ari says he's always reliable. I think that's a good one for him. He is always reliable. He's maybe not Ed Kerno reliable. I don't think many people are Ed Kerno level of reliable. But um, no, I'm looking forward to having Jones back. Because I remember 2019, he was a very, it was a very tough year for him on a, on a few um, on a few fronts. Obviously, um, the bad concussion. He obviously um, he lost his mother as well. So uh, I think the 2020 was a very important year to bounce him back and get him settled in. So. Uh, we need to also remember the human element to this as well. And he's a he's a good person. I think he's a good clubman. And uh, I'm very grateful to have him at the club. So looking forward to it. Yeah.